baby, want mm, we are we are, you look you look good, you smell good, you're freshy. No man, your beard. Good your beard. It look, I mean, I really I'm not like curvy, curvy for me. Like a little bit of bum in the have bum, but it's not like I love myself. I mean, I have the biggest body, everybody know that. But I'm gonna put on this the something them them sit right down. Nah, what them do? Them sit down. Look in the mirror and tell yourself say you're a good girl. Cause you are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kaden Campbell Diva Wagwan. Welcome. If this is your first time, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you like the vibe. And if you're a returning subscriber, my love that. Let's support the team. Big up you, big up you, Wally time, Wally time. Big up you. Big up to you. And in today's video, well, it's a vlog, but I'm gonna start off this vlog with a little Holly haul because I love to watch hauls. I'm a haul girly, okay? So I did a little bit of retail therapy, baby. And I want to show you guys what I got because, yeah, I feel like a little luxury doll, you know? It's not really luxury. Like, I went to Winners and I got some stuff. And I got some stuff from a store called Showcase. Yeah, so I just want to share it with you guys. Because, yeah, why not? So let's start. I'm going to go, I'm going to go get the bags. Get the bags. Oh, yeah. So this is the last day tomorrow after tomorrow i'm gonna take this hair out so i'm just feeling it i'm really really feeling it i just didn't like edges i don't really have much edges people so I don't have my family i'm my edge not knowing what my edges yeah so this is from showcase so this is from showcase i have to get the thumbnail i'm having an idea at the time so and then i got this bag it's from winners i got some personal item stuff and i also got some other stuff I think yeah um so we're gonna start off with this one because I actually want to turn the lights on to see how it looks so this is a Dixie and Charlie Hollywood vanity lights that I got from showcase um these were for $5.99 this is a steal this darling is a steal okay they're a little bit small they're on the smaller end but I feel like they can do the do and it's pretty bright um, may I struggle, people? May I struggle? Oh, let's go back to the house. Anyways, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually um turn them on to see what it looks like, and hopefully it can bright up. So this is what they look like. They come like this, okay? They come like this, and it has a USB charging port for you to charge. Uh, for you to charge. What? It has a USB charging port, so you have to use the brick. You have to have your own brick, I guess. And it has like a little remote here to um, turn up the lights, on it off, and so on, as you can see. So I like the I like that it's sturdy. But now we'll let me want the Japan brookie horrible. And then these are some little sticky stuff. Um, <laughs> that's what you call them. I don't even know what you call them. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I'll just show you guys what I mean. It sticks to the glass if you're putting it on glass. And not only that option alone, it, they also give you some stickers. They can stick on it. So I think they go together. But I'm going to read the instructions later on because, you know, I do read instruction because I want to know what's going on. And it's just pretty simple. So I secured the brick. Um, I'm doing the most. Um, but yeah, guys, I've had... A, guys, you would think that I had a great, awesome day. This day was literally so stressful for me in a lot of aspect. Not just like professionally at work, but in like my personal life. As in, like, not like horrible shit, but like driving and shit like my car giving me issues like when you ad when you're adulting like it's literally things after things like things after things not in a stuff that's in it like some little things like bro 
I really like when the light hit this way, but okay, I'm not mad at it at all. Anyways, it's not in front of me, but it's around me, I guess. So it's going to make it a little bit smoother. So yeah, the next thing, this, so these are all from Showcase, um, the lights. And then I also got these deco vines decorative ivy leaf vines add a rich elegant look to any project craft or your home decor so i love me some vines <laughs> yeah i need me some vines so i have something in my in my head that i want to um bring to life and i thought that i should get this yeah i feel like it would Guys, don't mind the look. Oh, yeah, so I love the look of something. It means something to me. The, the, the look of robe. I really like the robe. And it means something to me. Um, and I'm it, it tear it would something burn it. Something burn it. And yeah, so don't come laugh after me if you see it. I have other robe, but I just really like this and it's comfortable. And it has sentimental values to me. So don't come right up on yourself, okay? Ah, just so you know. <laughs> so yeah, I want to do something with this so it's yes don't laugh don't laugh after me here don't laugh after me okay do not laugh okay do not laugh okay me just like it and me go where go i want beach so the sun <laughs> the patwa so i really liked it but i don't like it like honestly i'm not like in love with it like i feel like it's really ugly but i still like it i guess like i still want to try it you know see how comfortable they are but i kind of got them for free so i was like okay i'm not gonna turn them out for free slippers and it's these little knockoff easy looking kind of shit <laughs> kind of stuff okay yeah it's kind of like easy looking kind of vibe it look alien kind of vibe but crocs you know the material did but it looks comfortable and I was gonna go to the pool and I was like, okay, let me buy them. But I'm gonna go to the beach too so I can wear them at the beach. Cause like, I don't really have to have the sand touching like all over my foot. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to try them out and I was gonna give it free anyway. So I was like, okay, sure. Um, it, I'm not gonna come act like, okay, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. I got some, oh, this is not from Showcase actually. What else did I get from Showcase? Um, Oh, I got a perfume from Showcase. Um, so Showcase is like a TikTok trend kind of store. And like, you know, anything viral, you know, that kind of vibe. Um, they have good deals. Like I said, you buy three, get one free. I got the lights, I got the shoes, and I got the vines, and I got this. So I got one of them free, which is the slippers. And everything was like a total of 30 something dollars. So that's not bad. And these lights they're pretty okay like i feel like it's okay so the perfume is called on the way perfume castle of memories on the way perfume okay and this is 0 0.5 fluid ounces 15 ml it's really small and like i get what they were trying to do but i do like it and to be honest with you it lasts but it's not lasting because i put it on today like around 10 o'clock in the morning and i was smelling it up until on my hand and i've washed my hand countless of times i smelled it on my hand for like up until i want to say four o'clock yeah four o'clock and that's not horrible like i don't usually go out for so long that's what like from 10 to 11 12 1 2 3 4 that's six hours if you guys can cannot slow don't judge me i'm tired and uh, it's really small. I like it. I like it a little. Like, <laughs> what am I saying? I like it. I like it. I like the smell. It's pretty. I'm telling you, it smell like. Do I look out this? It smell. It smells like fruit, citrusy. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit of sandalwood. And it's more on the like I would say beachy kind of vibe. It would it would be like a day smell, like if you're going to the beach or if you're going like on the road just to run some errands, that kind of vibe. But you mix it with a body splash or something else just to blend it in. It's not like it's not too citrusy either, but it's not and it's not really strong like harsh. But I really like it. 
it smell especially when it dies down it's like a mellow merry fruity mellow merry fruity kind of you know vibe like you know fruit basket like you know citrus yes i like that so that's all i got from them and i picked up this soft soap body um body wash from walmart because i was running out i also picked up my plugins because mine are running low so i got me some plugins because me let me feel smell nice girl mm -mm. i'm gonna them and I'm fresh and really like my water floor my bathroom floor super floor and so on everything there you know carpet and little thing there as a good girl and i got this glad or glade <laughs> glade my bad glade um and it's exotic tropical blossoms and if you can tell i really like tropical flavor fresh flavor tropical flavor fresh flavor i do like a strong oak and kind of vibe there too but I'm really, especially in summertime, I'm really into the tropical scents, the coconut scents, the shea butter, the cocoa butter, which I'm really into shea butter and cocoa butter right throughout the year. Like, that's just me. Love it, love it, love it. And I got this one for the double ones, and I got this one for the single ones for the living room. And then I have a candle, like a, what, what, do, they, what do they call this? Um, wax um, melter. So this one is from... I have a wax melter so i like to have like two different scents going mix i like to mix my scents so i have the plugins and then i have my warmer but whenever i mix them it complements each other like it's, it's fresh and oh when you have that humidifier on purifying the, the room and the ac is on and that's going the smells I just want to lay there and just sleep, okay? I just want to relax and just sleep on this. Oh, and I spray my little lavender um, pillow mist. Put like a peppermint in the diffuser, in the, the, the humidifier. Girl, that's a mood right there. That's a mood right there, baby, a mood. So, Ocean Tides, and it's from Scent Scentsationals. Yeah, plain words. Yeah, you go go do that. This is oh, it's good. You have no idea. This is actually so beautiful. It's fresh. I would just want to just bury my nose into this. You, I love scents like scents <sighs> calms me, relax me. Just oh, does everything for me. Especially when you know when I person smell good baby can i get a number <laughs> no baby want mm. well, yeah we are. you look you look good you smell good you're freshy no man your beard go to your beard your beard off your beard right down talk now so yeah this is really really re want like more it is something it smells so good. It smells like fresh linen. Um, like for fresh. Like it's so fresh. I don't know how to describe it. Vanilla. There's a little bit of vanilla. There's a little bit of sweetness to it too. Like, you know, like. Mm. Yes, this is this is it, babes. This is it. This is it, babes. Definitely. Man. No man, smell good man. Come on man, go on sensationals. Come on sensationals. Send me some. Send me some more flavor, cause oh my god, I smell. I have to go pick up some more because honestly, I didn't know that that's where they were. When in my in the Walmart that I go to, cause I was going to a different part and they had some, but it's some different types and they're okay. But I want it to be so potent and. Powerful, and I feel like that's gonna give me that vibe, and I'm here for it. I could have never been any more here for it than I am right now. Okay, then I want to move into the stuff that I got. For, oh, I got this also from the same showcase, but I got it like a few weeks, um, probably a month ago. But I still wanted to show you guys. It's a tick tastic butt lift leggings. 
and this is in 3x and it's a black this is what it looks like and it has that little grungy type thing in the back that lifts your butt i'm gonna probably try it on later on in the vlog because i'm probably gonna put it um put it on tomorrow i'm gonna wash it tonight and put it on because i'm doing laundry and put it on tomorrow with something i'm still trying to figure out the gloves that i'm gonna wear with it um but it's this type material um yeah it's not like it's stretchy let me see how stretchy it is it's stretch oh i know <laughs> Gotti, what is going on what's up okay so this is the grungy type thing i was telling you about so this is the bomb and it's supposed to lift the butt proper sturdy tan good tan no so yeah i'm kind of want to see oh it look i'm gonna really i'm not like curvy curvy but i don't like a little bit of bum you know like, i have bum but it's not like oh um, put on things and just pose right it look good still even if i'm not pose right because yeah my product my body i love my body so that's a that so we are going to beat me fight me but i love myself i mean i have the biggest body i probably know that but I'm gonna put on the something them them sit right down. Nah, what them do? Them sit down. Yep. I want to the girl here. Yeah. You know about me. Fluffy and sexy and nice and cute and sweet. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're a good girl. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're a good girl. Cause you are. Like I'm over all these people like talking about fat people and these type of people and them have all type of things to say about people. But we're not really going into that right now because this is not what you're what we're here for. Um I also got a little bit of skincare stuff. Let me put it back my size. I'm gonna take all this because I'm gonna look the last anyways. Alright, so I got this Mario Badescu Cucumber Water. This is one of my favorites. I've been using this for years. If you've been watching me, you've been seeing me using this. This is my... <laughs> this is my... Woo! This is my everything. I haven't used it for a while and I'm literally so excited to get it back because I, I don't know what, what was happening. I just haven't bought it in a while. Like, for no reason. Like, I don't know. That's how I am sometimes. I forget stuff and like... I'm gonna do something else. I forget that I'm like, okay, whatever. So I got that. I also got a deodorant. This is from Walmart, actually. It's not from Winners, but that's what I got from Winners. I got two body mists. Okay, so I know the bottom body works where them don't fight me and don't come for me. I love Bath and Body Works too. Okay, I'm a support Bath and Body Works too. But there are other mists outside of Bath and Body Works, and we need to explore that. And I'm I'm doing just that. I'm exploring um different mists. So I even get mist from Walmart. But Walmart, the Kenneth Cole has a nice one that Walmart carries in a black bottle with silver. What you talking about? That Paris Hilton can can. It's not bad. Like talk to me, girl. So Ariana Cloud. Everybody knows that the Claude is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. But this is the mist to the Claude. That's what I've been told. I think so. Don't quote me on that. Okay, let me not just jump because I'm going to let me know everything too much. Probably I'm going to look it up. If I, if, I, if I find it, then I'll put it there. Because I remember going into the store and I smelled it. And the person told me that it, the, the attendant at the... Um, the perfume store told me that it's a dupe, a good dupe for Baccarat Rouge. Honestly though, I don't, I'm not really a fan. Like, I don't love, love Baccarat Rouge. I went to smell it once and it, it's okay, it's nice. And I guess it's when it goes on a person, when it goes on your person, it kind of gives probably different, you know, smell and, you know, oils and everybody's different. But for me personally, it's not a scent that I was like, yo, I need it. I want it, and I will. I will get it just because. No, Angel. And when you see that, what's the one that I like again? Valentino. I smell the Valentino. I don't know exactly what. Don't quote me. I'm not really that perfume girly, girly, girly. I try, but 
the Valentino. I need to get my hands on that. ASAP. I'm trying to get it like probably like tomorrow. I'm really trying to get that. I'm really trying to get that. I want that. Okay. Medic like, give me that Valentino girl. Gimme. Right now, me go buy it. So yeah. But the cloud from Ariana Grande smells really good. And I hope that this is what it is. I hope I can get to clarify that if it's the if it's the dupe for Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge is good, but this is a little bit more strong. Obviously, it's not gonna be the same because Baccarat Rouge is an expensive, like concentrated perfume, so it's not gonna be like exact. But it has, you know, a, a close scent. I've never worn it on my person, so I don't know how long it's gonna take to like wear off because i've never actually i did spray it when i buy it i don't know i should do it again tonight and see how long if miss smell it and wake up in the morning because i be sweating sometimes but it smells good it's like it's a little bit harsh but when it wears off the alcohols the alcohol um evaporates it's or oxidizer, okay, I don't know which which one, whichever one, okay, don't come for me. I never told myself, may I, re, may I review her? But, but yeah, this one though, it is also from Ariana Grande, the Thank You Next. So these are all the splash to the perfumes. This, you see that one here? I really like the clothes, so don't get me wrong. That's why I bought, I buy, it. I, that's why I bought it. I really like it. Like I don't have an issue with it, but it's not like. Me never like a crazy feet like home me like this. Me never expect feel like this. Because I have the pink one in to this one also. And it smells really good. And it smells there's it's a huge difference. But I really like it. When I tell you I like it, I really like it. Me not like. I also tried um the Pex Nifts Forest Therapy. And this is breath or breathe. Breath. Yeah, experience a journey through the English woodland with invigorating bergamot zest and fragrant basil leaves to refresh the senses. Uplifting and energizing, thoughtfully created with your well-being in mind. So this is a fragrance or fragrance fragrance um, diffuser. 100 ml i got this for seven bucks i wanted to try a diffuser for a while now when i saw this one on sale i'm like okay let me grab it because as black woman what is our every kind of luxury like no but i feel like i just close luxury and if you want forget me is a girl with stay in my yard okay i'm in my house i make the i pay for that shit i'm gonna be there <laughs> where you think i'm gonna be I be busting my ass to have somewhere to live, and I'm not gonna make it a home and be there, nigga. Don't, okay? My house gotta be comfortable, okay? I love a comfortable home, okay? Stylish, you know. You know, it's just like dressing; it's expressing the way you feel, what you can afford, and just you and your sense of uh, your sense of style. I also got this Castel Bell or Castabel. Shea Butter Nourishing Triple Milled Soap Bar. Shea Fragrance Soap. Enriched with nourishing natural extracts. So this Castle Bell. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, it go on with itself. It smells nice. You know, I have the strong... It kind of smells like... It smells like a rose. Rose and like a little bit of vanilla. I say vanilla. It smells like a vanilla stuff. Because I like vanilla. A little bit... It's fresh too, really fresh. Yeah, so Castabel, Shea Butter. Then I got the And Jockeys, also clean, more uh, moisturizing. And blah, blah, blah. I got the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils, also clean, moisturizing, moisturizing and softening shampoo. And it's a deep moisturizing detangling hair bath for chronically dry hair. And I kind of have dry hair. And because I've been putting my hair through a lot of stuff since recently. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take care of it, you know. Cleanse the scalp. Breathe on good. <coughs> True water. So, 
Pearl Essence has a rose water and squalene. I was using this one for months now from Skin Lab. It's rose water mist. Instantly revitalizes the skin, hydrates for a radiant glow. And as you can see, I'm a glow goddess and it's just facts. My skin is beautiful. It does. It's not perfect. Far from perfect, but it's it's good because I take care of myself. Okay, but I come out. But me tell the truth, my hair probably got imperfections. But me not gonna make that kill me. Me not gonna make that kill me from my work from myself. My work from myself. Do what me have to do. So I got this pearl essence. I like pearl essence. I've been using their brightening eye serum for like a year. Change now, and this is like a, a hole here. So it's on and off. You don't need a lot. You need like a little tab, and you can do all like under your eyes. It's an eye cream, eye serum. I've used other products from them before, other serums from them, which worked with my skin, worked with my skin, and I love them. So I decided to try the rose water squalene. I hope I'm spreading that, pronouncing that correctly. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So, yeah, that's how that. So. And that's how I look at things in my makeup. And I got a wipes. A pack of wipes. Pure insurance, yes, what? Fine. Yeah, so that's that. I feel like I should have had more. But that's a little hard. It's 28 minutes. I'm going to chop it up a little bit. So that's all I got. I'm excited to try all these things that I've never tried before. Like the soap. Oh no. One more thing. One more thing. I completely forgot about it. And this is the main event. Okay. Let me tell you something about winners now. Baby girl. So winners. Make a spin off. All your money buying some bougie things. Some local boo. Oh I like the bougie still. So we're not really vexed. We're not really vexed. We're being... The dial deserve luxury so I want to them. So I've been like decorating my washroom and stuff. I think in this vlog, in, in the previous vlog, I, I would have shown you guys um my bathroom setup. I think I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in here. Um yeah, I'm going to put it in this vlog. I'm going to not because I haven't edited it yet. So I'm going to put it in this vlog. So I'm going to show you guys some addition, additional stuff that I bought. Um, I got from my washroom and I'm adding this to my washroom. Um, this is the Live Green Honey Almond Hand Soap and Lotion. And it comes in this container, which I think is so cute. And I'm just going to put it on my countertop. So I'm going to give you like a... A walkthrough of all the products that I added in here, like for container wise, like storage wise. Um, and just give you like a little, yeah, a little something, something, something. Like, I don't have the best as as bathroom ever, but it's it's me, it's cute, and it matches me and the life that I'm living, and I'm proud of it because I put effort in it and I put time. It's it's not where what I really 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 want. <laughs> it's not a dream washroom, but it's perfect for me right now, and I love it. Love where you have, girl. You pray for that and you work for that. Just know that if you want more, you'll work for more. So for right now, I'm gonna look about you, make a lot neat. I'm mine. Nobody can't tell me not about it. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna use it. I pray it out tonight. Because I pay for it. So yeah, that's it. So I got the honey almond hand soap and lotion. I'm going to put it on my countertops. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. On the countertops, I have to, sh I think I'm going to have to ship one of you things because, yeah, I'm going to have to do that for sure. And then just put it all together and you guys will see a complete look. I'm probably going to insert the clip No, from for the things that I got, the other, you know, stuff that I got, and put it all after this haul, and yeah, so I'm not going to say too much in this vlog, because, you know, I be saying stuff in vlogs, and then I don't do all of them, so I'm going to stop, I'm going to refrain from doing that, because, bro, I'm, I'm, I do too much, I do too much, like, I really do, so this is all for my little haul, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, I really love doing these little hauls. They're not little because this is like half an hour already, but I'm going to chop it up anyways. But yeah, keep on watching. We're going to see what's up next. 
so nice. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I hope it's something nice because what like, goody one gold. Yeah, goody one touch wood. Um for sure I'm gonna take this hair out. I think I'm probably going to do something on camera after I don't know. I'm it's based on my mood. But I feel like I want to do something. I want to braid my hair, but I'm gonna see. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next segment of the vlog. Bye. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. I've actually edited and created and edited any content. I have tons of content to create to edit. I'm actually gonna go transfer some on my on my computer tomorrow tonight. But I look a hot mess and I have a reason. What's the reason, Casey? What's the reason you look like a hot mess? My last couple of videos I've been I've been doing okay, but I kind of slip up. Um, I kind of slipped up because okay, so last night. I started to do my hair and I went to the hair store got braids and everything it's a similar the same hair that I put up that I had on in the last vlog you guys will be seeing that before this and I did a half up half down kind of vibe and then I did cut it down a bit um, and like put a bun at the top but this weekend is Carabana I bought a ticket to go to an all-white affair. Totally did not plan for an all-white affair because I have nothing in white sensible to wear. So last weekend, I literally, as you can, like Saturday, Saturday gone, I ordered some stuff off Sheen because you know I'm a Sheen girl, like everybody knows this. Tomorrow is literally the all white affair and on, and on the boat ride downtown Toronto. And I think them will come. So I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't actually plan it properly and got my shit together before because I really always think that I have enough time when in reality I don't. And it's just so crazy to me because, like, girl, you bought your ticket and everything, you're looking forward to this thing, but you're not planning properly. Anyways, my nails, I'm going to take them off when I get home. And I'm going to use some press-ons. Honestly, guys, I don't know if it's just me or what. But for years now, I haven't been going to a mall to shop. Because the mall gives me anxiety. Because I can never find stuff that I like. And if I do find something that I like, most of the times it's not in my size. So I'm like... Ugh, I'm getting anxiety because tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to the mall to go find something if I'm really serious about going so I'm gonna have to wake up early and go to the mall last night I went to the so fast forward or backtrack I went to the hair store got the same braids that I had on previously and I started to braid my hair like big and twist passion twist but it never looked good so I'm gonna pull it out so now I told you guys that I don't want to wear wigs, but now I'm gonna have to draw for a wig. I'm gonna have to draw for a fucking wig. And I seriously did not want to wear a wig. So, I'm gonna have to go for a wig. I'm literally pulling up in my, um, my apartment complex. So that's my dilemma at this moment in time. And quite frankly, I'm horrible. So I'm gonna go inside now and go I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go braid my hair down because I'm gonna put on the wig tomorrow. 
it's already washed i'm also gonna style the wig make sure i style it from tonight so i'll have to do that tomorrow because tomorrow when i wake up i have a plan i have to go straight to the mall before cocktail coffee and draws so i'm kind of sleepy so i'm gonna see if i can get a little nap probably from about 9 to 10 11 12 <laughs> and i wake up back refresh and i can cane on my ear and do all of that and style the wig and then go back to sleep and wake up for like about 8 30 if you get up and got a mall mall probably open like nine hopefully mall open like nine o'clock so i think i'm gonna go to square one um and do so do so I'm, i i just have a feeling that i'm not gonna find anything that i want to wear but we digress so right now my just an update you know for siwag one because i think the last part of the first part of this vlog is a haul and i looked all proper proper up and stuff but now i look a hot mess and it's sad my nails they're more roads so like it's weird roads for worlds weird roads <laughs> i have to take them off i just did somebody here some i braided somebody here a while ago this guy i'm one of my neighbor so i went to go get rid of my beard and i have beer pimples beer here bump under my fucking face and guys i've been horrible because i have neglected to neglected it and i've been shaving and nearing and in between nearing i'm shaving and the ear grow back fast and now i be about my last year what i do was i did too much because i knew i shouldn't have and i did it anyways because i was too busy and i shave and now my full on yes full of bump my side berms full of bump and I'm so mad and this pimple come up one big old dirty bump they come up here so I may have to use my thing for my, my, my spot treatment for put on it and me I gotta just go do a nice little skincare when I go in um so I stopped and I got a burrito because I was starving and anybody ever I think burrito is a Mexican thing burrito no like I've been upset obsessed with burrito for the past year and change i'm obsessed when i tell you obsessed i'm obsessed it's not a joke i got some shaver so i'm gonna shave up my eyebrow shape it up a little bit and i got some wafers from the dollar store i got a pepsi and i got alcohol and i got some doritos because doritos are fire with burritos yeah i said that correctly yeah yeah so i'm just gonna go inside now and i'm probably gonna take up the camera tomorrow um more than likely i'm gonna take up the camera tomorrow and i have to t transfer footage from my from my from my phone to my computer because i am literally out of memory and i can't carry my big camera with me like that's just not possible plus i'm going on a boat no. so that's the update guys and i'll come out of my little car and i'll see you guys in the next clip we're at the all white boat cruise so yeah we just reached oh, we are gonna go on the boat now so i'm just checking with you guys i have a whole dilemma for talk to on the boat but we digress so this is the venue the CN Tower right there so the goodie them so we're here this is beautiful so the boat that we are going on right there so right there
to the channel and your Kaden Camera Diva Wagwa welcome. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate you. And make sure that you leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about this video and all that good stuff. Now the last thing that you guys saw was the boat ride. I'm sweating guys because it's actually really hot where I am right now. I'm actually in a drive through of an establishment. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to send some money. So I'm in the drive through because I don't like these people. <laughs> Anyways, so it's been a while since I vlog. I have probably three videos coming out. Our two videos would it be before this yeah it would be so this is my second video that i have so i have would it be two i think it would be two videos or three videos anyways regardless i have some videos coming out that i'm working and i'm gonna start working on i've already filmed them recorded i'm just gonna work on them edit them but i'm gonna do my best to get more content but i just want to come and close out this video the last thing that you guys saw was the boat ride um i did have fun that was like two three weeks ago while i had fun at the boat ride i feel like we were cheated because we were supposed to be back off the boat boat at 2 a.m and they docked at 12 and basically ran us off the boat i didn't really hear any dance hall hardcore dance hall per se so i'm not even going to say that it was the best boat ride ever it was okay um I feel like we paid for just the ambiance per se. The boat was clean. The washrooms were okay, just okay because some of the let them never did punny. Um but overall it was I would give it a, a seven out of ten. A six out of ten. My overall experience from the first time being on a boat ride party, I think it was a six to seven or a six and a half out of ten. It was okay. I felt cheated. I felt like I needed to play a little bit more hardcore dancehall. It was mostly soca and her and being hip hop. I rock with it, but it's not really my speed. But it was okay. I still had a time. The drinks were cheated. They gave us some little itty bitty cups. Ten dollar for a little bit of rum and something, coke or something, or pineapple juice. Ten dollars. If ever said a cup little, cheated. I hated that. Hated that. I hated that. That was like you. You guys are cheap because the ticket alone is sixty bucks or sixty-five. You could have at least have one drink included, and then you pay the rest and actually give us a cup of drinks. Well, yeah, go with them little itty bitty cups for ten dollars. Like I could have got so much in the liquor store for ten dollars, and I bought more than one drink, more than one drink. I bought my my drink and stuff like more than once. But overall. It was okay my dilemma that i had before going to the boat ride i think i did touch a little bit on that in a previous clip whereby i went to the mall to look for something to wear it was a hot mess and it definitely reminded me why i don't go to malls anymore because of the anxiety and of because they don't have variety or they don't have anything at all that's suitable for me as a plus size female to wear and it's very i don't even know it's demeaning it's it's just like blah it makes me feel blah and it makes me feel like we're lacking as a society that we don't have a mall that i can pull up into a mall that's close to my vicinity and get a piece of clothing that i would like to wear 
you know and it's it's sad that we're still that's still our re reality today and i know a lot of people talk about fast fashion this and fast fashion that before fast fashion we didn't have any option we had some big ugly black dress and some black big old uncle grandma shirts like no so I know people talk about Sheen and talk about Fashion Nova and talk about pretty little things and this and that, but y'all don't know our pain that we go through as plus size females when we can't go walk up into a store and find something that's suitable or comfortable or nice enough for us to style and wear it out. Then you can't speak on that. You can't speak on it because you don't have, you don't, you're not faced with the issue. I literally cried in the mall that day like i literally cried because i was just so upset and there's nothing affordable there's one thing i got the dress that i wore to the that you see in the previous clip it was like a shirt blouse with mesh going down and that was like 120 dollars i've never spent in a long while spent 120 dollars on one thing because one thing about me, I don't fake my lifestyle. I don't come on here and act like I'm rich when I'm not. You guys see me go out, buy affordable stuff. Because I'm not rich. I'm, I'm nowhere near rich. I'm a local Jamaican thing. We live in Canada. We try our best. We like nice things. And work hard. I work hard. I work extremely hard. Basically, I don't come on here and, and fake a lifestyle. I don't have time to do all that. I am a single mom. Well, I'm a mom. I'm single and I'm living my life. I take care of myself. I take care of my child and I do my best. I am not going to come on here and act like I have money to buy Louis this, Louis that, Chanel. That. I can't afford these things. And I never come on here and act like I can. I like nice things, but I live within my means and I don't pretend and I don't fake shit. If I don't have it, I don't have it. I'm not going to come on here and act like I do. I shop from Sheen. I shop from Fashion Nova. I shop from pretty little things. If I see a little thing at the mall, if I see a little thing on the street, I miss see something that look nice. Yes, I go down my garden make and my mother give me something nice. Yes. But one thing about me, I don't fake my lifestyle and I have no reason to. I want to be relatable. When I can afford these things, I will buy them. But right now, I can't. And I'm, I don't feel no type of way. I don't feel jealous of nobody who has these things or has the capability of purchasing these things. I love that for you. I applaud you, boo. And I'm happy that you're able to do so. But as for me, I'm living in my moment. And what is luxury for me is luxury for me. Me going and buying one Aldo bag because me can't afford an Aldo bag, that's my luxury. Me going to buy one look of perfume at a perfume store for 50 60 or $100. We smell good that's my luxury you don't determine my luxury and i don't allow people to determine my luxury my luxury is within my budget and that's that on that so me pulling up me buying a shirt for 120 dollars that was like an eye opener for me i was like bro i've never bought one item for so long for 120 dollars canadian i've never like i don't think i've ever even back in the day when i used to shop i used to shop Actually, when I used to shop, I used to shop on, um, what's that place called again? Mm, there's a plus size place, Reb Dolls. Reb Dolls is a little bit pricey sometimes, and I used to buy stuff from them. But, that, but that's a long time ago. I haven't bought anything from Reb Dolls in a while. I need to go check out Reb Dolls. You know, Reb Dolls was my ish. Reb Dolls was my ish. I used to get some nice pieces from Reb Dolls. I need to go check them out again. I used to shop from them a long while ago. A good while ago but i haven't bought anything i think i remember buying this carnival set from them once which took the, took the streets like when i wore the out people were like wow you look so good i'm gonna post a picture of it if i find one but but i just want y'all to know that we need to fix up when it comes to plus size and i feel like i need to be a change in that and i'm gonna look into it and see how i can start changing that actively because we know that it's been on going on for for years now but it's like it's 2023 and it's still not hitting like it's supposed to be hitting you know like online the online presence has evolved a lot because now you have more options online and listen to me if you can afford sheen girl wear sheen if you're batting a bunion and you're chewing a tail 
be happy. If I don't take care of food, me not have a problem buying from Sheen, and me not have a problem buying from Fashion Nova, because that's what I can afford. Whenever I can afford other stuff, then sure, then fine. But for now, this is my tax bracket, and I must stick with it. That doesn't mean you can't want, you can't dream about things or aspire to have certain things, but don't feel like you have to make certain sacrifices and certain decisions when you don't have to. You can just put on so that's the one thing you know. You see, when we realize something like a little bit until now, and me wear clothes and clothes are wearing me. I can remember one time I went to a party. I remember because a long time I do this shit, you know, but I feel like it's because of YouTube, you know, and everybody. And like, a long time I this up and I got a party and I go out and I go mash up place just like that in a cheap and clean. Long time and I just know. So nobody feel like say I just because we have an online presence or whatever. No, me at the long time from birth, from back out of those days. Long time. Like, and I just know. I remember when I was, I think I was like 17, 16. No, I like. I was nine. I was seventeen. I wasn't. Hi. I said, people. I remember going to a party when I was like, I think I was eighteen. I wasn't nineteen yet. Seventeen, eighteen, one of them. But basically, I got the party. I remember my mom? My mom used to dress me heavy them time. Like she would go out and see stuff and buy stuff for me and stuff like that. So I remember her buying this dress, this blue dress like a princess fairy tale it's kind of like the similar material like that but more more layers to it it's like a poofy dress and it was it was like mid calf and i had my aunt cut it i'm gonna find a picture and post it and i remember going to a party back then like me and a me a hot girl but me and a rich girl like we just put two and two together so i did my hair makeup i get a like a nice silver shoe a nice little silver bag I'm going to party and there's another girl there she had the same color blue like me similar dress style not the same thing but similar same poofy fairy style stuff and I remember people were like yo, yo they were having like a competition for the best dressed females to win 30 grand or something like that and people were like yo you need to go up there you need to go up there because the girl they kind of called the girl and she went up and they're like, you need to go, you need to go because you look you need to go. And my friends are boosting me up, saying like, you need to go, you need to go. And I'm like, okay, 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 I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. So I went, and when I went, I won, I won 15K. She won at 15, they were like, oh, it's gonna look too good for where on a can't, on a can't win. So we ended up splitting it, she get 15, I'm get 15. But the problem is, me was a little poor girl where I try and me know see the girl they have money. Me know see the girl they have money and went all the f out. And all I did was cut the frack with me auntie. My mother buy the dress for 500 Jamaican dollar. And my auntie cut it for free 99. Free 99. My, the, the shoes me they already have. And the bag me they already have. And me win 15,000 dollars. So I literally made fourteen thousand dollars because basically no, I, mean, I did my hair and stuff so basically i spent like three grand for my hair and stuff and you know my nails and stuff back in the day this was like 12 13 years ago and i literally don't Please, and this is what I'm telling you. You don't need and a clothes make you look good, and a brand make you look good, and you make clothes look good, and all your styles, all you put it together. Because the same outfit, manure she put, she put time and effort and take plane come to Jamaica, fit party. And me come and me live there and me just do my thing and win me fifteen dollars. Like when me barely do anything, what am I coming into? I don't know why I cannot stand this place. I'm literally shitting bricks. You know what, guys? I'm gonna end this vlog here because there's too much going on in, in Brampton and around Brampton, and it's just so annoying because you can't drive. There's always construction. There's always construction and nowhere to drive. And I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Anyways. So guys, yeah, this is where I'm going to end this vlog. So this is my little story just to show you like it takes nothing for a little female to look good. 
and it's nothing it's literally nothing so don't you ever feel like you have to be wearing a certain kind of brand or doing all this and all that just to look good when all you have to do is just be you and just be be creative with whatever you're trying to do and that's it so that was just a little little a little feedback or a little you know one two so yeah this is where i'm gonna end this vlog i'm sweating guys it's so hot it's literally so hot i'm sweating you've never seen me sweat yet it's summertime yeah, so I just want to thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the little channel. If you enjoy me and my little vlogs, come on now. Make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, you comment down below if you found this vlog to be entertaining. And yeah, make sure you're following me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, all of that. They'll be on the, they will be on the screen. And just stay tuned and love up your little me. Go binge watch some of my other videos, my other vlogs. And, you know, keep up to date with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.